Holy moly, guys, it's less than 24 hours before Bad Batch Season 2 graces our screens. Disney Plus is coming out with the new series. And, and the most interesting part about this part of my channel is that constantly before series come out, I think about what we're going to see in this season. Especially in the animated shows, we got to see Clone Wars Season 7 back in the day to its final conclusion. But it was interesting to see who will cameo as well. And now with Bad Batch Season 1 finished and Bad Batch Season 2 coming out, we constantly discussed in this channel a lot about what characters are coming back for maybe just a short cameo or perhaps something much, much larger. Like for example, in Bad Batch Season 2, we clearly see by the trailers and by what we know, Commander Cody is coming back fully. Maybe not the entire season, but he definitely seems to have much bigger importance than just the short cameo. I think he will have his own arc in this season. We will get to see where he was and where he is going, if he is going anywhere. It's not out of the realm of possibility that he might die in this season, concluding his story finally, because we don't see him in Star Wars Rebels, and that kind of means something. But before I could even assemble a list and talk about a lot of characters that we might see in The Bad Batch Season 2, one of the writers for Star Wars The Bad Batch actually said something Thing about a possible Boba Fett cameo during this season. It is, after all, clones galore. I mean, we're seeing everybody. The Bad Batch will head the series. Commander Cody is back. Crosshair will be the antagonist, supposedly. And Captain Rex will be coming back again, since he was back in The Bad Batch. Now he's back again with new missions by what we see in the trailers. One more clone I want to add, actually, is, is Walt. As I mentioned earlier, we saw in Star Wars Rebels that Walt Wolf, Gregor, and Captain Rex all survived way into their elder years, and they were practically on hiatus from everything until Fulcrum, aka Ahsoka Tano, brought them back into the fold. We also see that Wolf, by the time we see him in Star Wars Rebels, he does not have his inhibitor chip. So did he undergo the same procedure that Captain Rex did? How did they manage that? If he makes a cameo in the Bad Batch, will he already have his inhibitor chip removed, or did Captain Rex maybe find him and went and got him into the procedure. Everything is kind of up in the air, but I would love to see a mention or a brief cameo by Wolf as well as Gregor, of course. And Bad Batch Season 2 actually sees all three of them off into their retirement until they are found by Ahsoka Tano later on. There's no doubt, I think, that Ahsoka Tano might actually make a brief cameo as well. Since Captain Rex is making one, I assume that Ahsoka could be a along the lines as well. And the Andor series kind of showed us that Mon Mothma is involved too, albeit from afar. Get a mention together with Bail Organa since we clearly see that Bail Organa is very much active in this second season of The Bad Batch because after all, holding the glue holding everybody together, Bail Organa, Mon Mothma, and everybody else is the Emperor himself, Palpatine, who is clearly making a comeback in this season, albeit briefly because we see him in the Senate building addressing perhaps the galaxy or the Senate, whichever comes first, of course. Um, what we do know is will Ian McDermott make make a comeback to lend his voice to the character. He actually did that with Tales of the Jedi. I assume that logistically they finished everything quickly. That's why we won't get a long cameo by Palpatine, but perhaps some words here and there establishing the character again. It might have been that the, the day when Ian McDermott came into the studio to voice Palpatine for Tales of the Jedi, he might have done some voiceovers for The Bad Batch Season 2 as well. Here's the thing though, keeping in, line, keeping in line with the actors, like Ian McDermott, we don't have any confirmation from Daniel Logan, who actually voices Boba Fett, what, a young Boba Fett at that. We don't have any confirmation from him, so that's why there's some sort of a mystery going on. I personally think that Boba Fett will make a cameo in this season's finale. Don't forget that Boba Fett's official name, by what we learned in The Bad Batch Season 1, is Alpha. So he is Alpha, and there is an Omega, as we know. She is with The Bad Batch. There is turmoil going 
going on as it pertains to clone army and clone troopers Camino during this time. We saw in the previous season that Palpatine elected to completely destroy Topoka City, the cloning facilities. Tarkin is heading this project as well. They, but Nala Say and the cloners did make their way into a secret facility where a Dr. Pershing kind of character showed herself, kind of insinuating that they are not done with the cloning process. And as we all know, the Jango Fett DNA has started to depreciate. That's why they are in desperate need of new DNA from new sources. And what better sources than Boba Fett, aka Alpha, or Omega? So it's not out of the realm of possibility that the Empire is looking for both, and that's how we will get a cameo from Boba Fett as well in the second season. Now, to talk about this more in detail, we actually have a quote from one of the head writers of The Bad Batch second season, that is Jennifer Corbet. She gave an interview to Games Radar Plus. She actually told us, she actually talked about Boba Fett herself, which is kind of amazing, and she said this, where Boba Fett is at the moment is a very different path from Omega's. They are on different journeys at the moment. All right, so this might be a throwing off the scent moment. I think while yes, definitely Boba Fett is doing his own thing, his bounty hunting thing, by what we know, he might probably be in the Coruscant Underground or getting bounties across the galaxy, but this is not that different from Omega because they also are getting missions across the galaxy. And while at the moment they their paths might not be the same might cross later on say the finale of this season the writer also went on to talk about omega she said that season two will devote plenty of time to fleshing out omega's character both as a character herself and a clone of high importance she said quote we definitely continue with learning about omega's background and the reasons why she was with cloners nalase and lamasu on kamino closely she continued on by saying but the batch don't care what she is all they know is that she's their sister their squad member and that's it for them this kind of gives us an indication that they might learn something that is not flattering about omega and why she was created but they just do not care and they have accepted her as part of their group and as their sister all in all uh, this is shaping up to be a great season 16 episodes in total which is just a whole lot of goodness. And it actually reminds me of the old Clone Wars seasons back in the day when we used to have like 24 episodes in a season. Um, it's been a while since we've had that, so I'm pretty, pretty glad that this is going to run for at least four months, I think. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Tell me all of your thoughts down below in the comments. Do you wanna see Boba Fett back, a young Boba Fett in the second season? Um, and what do you expect he will be up to during this time? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up down below, subscribe for dailies. Now go have an awesome day, Star Wars fans. I'll see you in the next video, and may the Force be with you. Until then.